Don't forget to subscribe and press the notification icon. Hello friends, this is Second Gentleman. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer all of your data, either iPhone, iPad, iPod, or any of the Apple devices or other platforms, and transfer it to your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus or any of the Samsung device. So do make sure that you have an OTG cable and an iPhone charging cable. So now what we're going to do is is to connect the iPad with the charging port, so lightning port you can say. And then using the OTG cable connected on your phone. And now on your phone what you have to do is is to press on select an application for the USB. Now once you see this press sort. Agree? Then leave your phone. So it might ask you to tap the trust on your iOS device. So unlock your iOS device <coughs> and then press trust. Press next. That should work. So all of your iPad or iOS device, contacts, messages, calendar, application, and lots of stuff will be transferred to your Samsung device. Some of them may not work on your Samsung device because of different operation system. So anyways, now you can just check the ones that you need. So for me, I need the contacts no need to calendar, app list, well probably bookmarks, yes, clock, no need, then wallpaper, you can have the same wallpaper as an iPad or any iOS device, or yeah, I'm just gonna leave that, then photos, videos, and documents. Now once you have checked the ones, the files which you need, press transfer. Then leave your phone alone for approximately one minute. As you can see, my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus has gotten all of the required data files from the iOS device. So as you can see right now there there are some features in which you can download a certain codec that your Android device doesn't support and there is another option where you can download some iOS application on Android device if available in Google Play Store. So I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration of the iOS and APK application. So as you can see right now, that is the app lists that are installed in my iPad device. And if I click on one of the application, it will direct me to Google Play Store to indicate that this particular app is available in Google Play Store. So once you're done with everything, just press close app. And I cannot show you much of my device data, so I'm just going to show you that I have some application of iOS and I'm using the same wallpaper as on iPad and to be honest with you guys it is by far the clearest and the highest quality wallpaper and fits perfectly on Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus you should have a try don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button if you haven't so already peace out